My name is Tom Fertel. I'm the president here at St. Mark's High School. Um, I'm happy to have us hosting uh, the second annual Cyber Clash. I've been at St. Mark's for uh, three years, going into my fourth year, um, and I began the program, the eSports program, ran the Cyber Clash last year, but I'm very happy that this year we come into the uh, tournament having a full-time eSports manager who you'll meet later, later Mr. Uh, Chris Ruffini. Um, very happy to host uh, the second annual Cyber Clash. I began the program uh, uh, last year. I was still principal at that point. We change over the president, and um, this year I'm great to have uh, Mr. Chris Ruffini, our esports manager, to run the tournament. Um, but it's it's an area that we are very well vested in at St. Mark's High School. We seek to be a leader within the state of Delaware in esports, and um, I can assure you that we absolutely are. I think you know anything that we do, we have to do 100%. You've got to be committed to what you're doing, or or just don't do it. And esports is an area that we are definitely committed. Uh, you know, I, I tell parents about it that you know the video game world is a 180 billion dollar global industry. Um, colleges are popping up um, with programs and scholarship programs and majors. And so to prepare for that, we, we want a, delib a deliberate path for our students who want to go into that space. So that's a two-pronged approach: the hiring of a full-time esports manager, and then separate or secondly, I should say, is the development of the eSports Center. So we have taken uh, two classrooms and are building an absolute state-of-the-art eSports Center. Uh, to have 27 uh, gaming C uh, PCs, uh, four consoles, a team area, a broadcast center, um, and there's nothing like it in the state of Delaware or even beyond uh, within the region. We have gone 100% full bore into eSports. My name is Chris Ruffini. I'm the eSports manager here at St. Mark's. Uh, a lot of the video games that I love to play, I love building games like Satisfactory and things like that. Um, my favorite game of all time, I would have to say Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. I'm an old person, so a lot of the kids may not know that game, but I thought that game was the most legendary game ever made. Uh, I've been here for one year. This is my first year here at St. Mark's. Um, this program means a lot to me. It's so amazing to see how these kids are coming together. Uh, a lot of these kids didn't have a place to be. Now they can be here with a family of gamers that where they feel comfortable, where they can uh, be with each other and learn from each other. And the opportunities that we have here are amazing. We're teaching these uh, students all the careers you can go into. We can talk about uh, what other things you can do with gaming. It's not just about gaming, but what you can do with that skill to uh, fulfill other uh, careers. Sean Steffi, Mount Aloysius College, head sports coach. Um, how long have you been there, um, and what's your history with um, an esports program? Mm. I've been head coach at Mount Aloysius for about seven months now, during which we've negotiated scholarships and updated our program, brought in some new players, and really built out kind of the infrastructure of our program. So, big background as a player and now as a coach, I'm really enjoying it. And then um, mm. today we're at the St. Mark's mm -hmm. Cyber Clash. Um, what's your how feelings about mm. that today? Nothing but good things to say about Cyber Clash. It's really cool. It's nice to see everybody here and so passionate. Esports company did a really nice job as always. I never thought I'd show up and get to see a sixth grader win $30,000 in scholarship dollars, but just happened. So it's Bye. pretty cool. Uh, my name's Aaron. I go to St. Mark's and I'm a junior. I play some FPS games and Minecraft, Roblox, and sometimes when I get bored, I go on Steam and just look for games that are free and I'll install those and play them for a little yeah. bit. Environmental science or environmental engineering, I just kind of want to like go outside and take samples and then take them back to a lab and analyze them. That's kind of like, yeah, what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, Minecraft, because I've been doing it since I was 12, I could beat Niles at Roblox, or Bed Wars, Minecraft Bed Wars any day, um, he should fight me. 1v1 me, Minecraft, Niles, please. I don't know, they're a lot of fun to play. Um, Esports is a great community, especially at St. Mark's. Um, I'm excited to be a part of it. How long have you been in the program? Since my sophomore year, beginning of my sophomore year, so one year now. My name is Giovanni Antonelli. I, my gamer tag is Geo1237. I go to St. Mark's High School, and I'm in 12th grade. Um, I like Mario Kart. Uh, like, uh, what's the thing? RTS, I like RTS, FPS, mostly. I also like speedrunning, I do what a lot do of that. What do esports and video games mean to you? Um, I just like video games. Esports is pretty sick. The ability to possibly make money if you win is kind of cool. 
That's about it. There's not really much of advanced stuff. Um, Lego Battles is usually my favorite. That's the main game that I speed run. I'm really good at it, and it's just I've played it since I was a kid. It's a really old game. It was on the DS, and uh, yeah, I just like playing it. My name is Zach Dabrowski, and I'm a sophomore at St. Mark's High School. Uh, my favorite genres are arcade shooters and Metroidvanias like uh, Dead Cells and uh, Doom and Overwatch. Uh, my dream job would either be uh, working for as a storyboard animator or uh, animating for video games. I have three. Um, and the top two are either Minecraft or Tetris. Um, I, I also play Hollow Knight a lot. Those are probably my top three. I don't have a top favorite. Uh, Esports is, I'm very competitive. So being able to compete at something I do with most of my spare time is, uh, is cool. And video games are, uh, good form of entertainment. Uh, I'm Daniel and I go to St. Mark's and I'm in ninth grade. Um, I like to play FPS games like Valorant um, and occasionally I'll play uh, a milsim like Squad or Arma. Um, to me video games are my way of having fun and relaxing after a long day. Um, and I like getting mad at people in Valorant. My favorite game currently is Valorant because of the toxic player base. <laughs> um, my favorite game is Valorant because of the whole... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You're done. You're done. You're done. It's not gonna get Hi, my name is Reese. I'm a sophomore at St. Mark's High School and I'm 15 years old. I don't know what my favorite games are. I just have played a lot during my life and I can't narrow it down to one thing. What are some that come to your mind? Um, right now I'm playing Valorant. And there's this one other game that I like to play called Genshin Impact. You should not play it. Why not? Um, so have you heard of gambling? Yes. <laughs> so that's in the game, and you might get a, a little addicted to it. Okay, I see that. So when I came here to St. Mark's, I had, like, no friends. So I just joined the eSports club on a whim, and I got friends, and that's the only reason I'm here. But then I ended up joining the Valorant team, so it was all okay. And now I have these idiots to talk to, so that's fun. Alright, so my career, I want to be my dream job. The, the most I want to do, I listen, I'm going to be for real. I want to do everything, but for now, my dream job is to be, like, an influencer. I know that sounds stupid, like, oh, my God, so boring. Bro wants to be an influencer, bro, lame. Nah, fam, listen to me, listen to me. One day, I'm telling you, one day, bro, there's going to be people out there. Actually, there's already people out there that shout my name on the streets. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm going to be everywhere. You will see my face everywhere. Me, I will be in your head 24-7. I'm telling you, that day will come. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next year, but it'll come. I will be everywhere. And I'll have people shouting my name. Niles! Now, it'll, be, it'll be crazy. Exactly. Now, like, can I have everyone shout my name real quick? Exactly. 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 They're shouting my name. See, I already have people loving me. And I'll get more people loving me. Anyways, but listen. I'll stop with the ignorant stuff. But I'm going to be for real. That's what, but after I become on a higher level of influencer, after I'm bigger than Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Andrew Tate, I'm going to be bigger than the most Google man on the earth. I'm going to be for real. That's the goals. But after that, you know, I'm going to become astronaut. 
an actor. I'm going to become everything. You're going to see me in every single genre. Pro, pro chess player. I'm going to be a pro chess player. I'm going to be a pro swimmer. Pro, I'm going to be in the NBA. Trust me. I'm going to be the first 5'5 five, five person in the NBA. I'm, a t I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The shortest man in the NBA, I'm going to be him. I'm going to be better than Curry and LeBron combined. They're going to call me the GOAT. I'm telling you. Actually, I'm already called the GOAT. I'm going to be through. But, hey, if I don't make an NBA, if I don't make an astronaut, if I don't make an actor, I'm going to be a rapper. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I I'm going to drop tracks on tracks. I'm going to get tracks on Diamond. I'm going to get Platinum Record track. I'm telling you. I'm going to be up there. I'm going to sell 300K first week. I'm going to sell more than Youngboy. I'm going to sell more than Future. I'm going to sell more than Drake and Bad Bunny. I'm going to sell more than Kanye. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. But if I don't be that guy, if I don't, I'm just saying I will. But if I don't, I'm going to just I'm gonna just be an influencer. And, and listen, I don't think you guys know the powers that influencer has. I'm just saying, influencing a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of people right now that are converting people to bots. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with my fan base, I'm not going to make them bots. Who wants to have a fan base full of echo chambers and bots? Not me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be that guy. To tell the people to better themselves. I'm going to be him. I'm going to be that guy. No no therapy stuff. None of that. Because me personally. Me personally. Like I I don't personally believe in therapy. Because me personally. What I think. Therapy is just saying. You can't fix your problems. So you need someone else to help you. Right, and I don't believe in that. Alright. So my name is Santiago Barrios. I go to St. Mark's. And I'm a sophomore. So I like shooter games or uh, games like Minecraft where you can just build things. I mainly play Overwatch though, because you know it's a fun game. It's my first uh, shooting game, so yeah. Uh, I don't know what my dream job is because like I haven't I haven't really thought of it, you know. But like maybe do I don't um, I don't know maybe play video games forever. I don't know. I'm not very. Uh, I don't know, I don't have many ideas. Uh, maybe develop games. That, that seems fun to me. I've done them before. So like, video games and esports, if I'm be honest, I just see video games as a uh, form of entertainment. Uh, sometimes it could be competitive, but like, some, most of the time I just uh, want to play casually. Or is it even the to play casually? But, <laughs> uh, esports is a, uh, I don't know, it doesn't really, I don't really have, like, uh, I don't really know. I don't really know much. Ten thousand dollars over four years. Congratulations, Team Nuclear. All right. And the Boomers, give us your name and your school. Dave Lambert, St. Peter's. Joey, please, and St. Peter's. David Ford, St. Peter's. All right, the St. Peter's Boomers. So, congratulations. First place, which takes home five thousand dollars per year. $20,000 scholarship from the St. Lawrence to help you with our East Coast program. We have verification on the MVP. Sir. We do. D5. Here's the qualification you don't know. Last year's Saturday. Guess who was the MVP? Like most, well, lots of things, but cash is probably better. 